You are now listening to the Serious Growth Podcast with your host, Leo Costa Jr. Well, I'm going to tell you something <clears throat> to set the stage here for the people that are watching the show. You know, I've been around a little bit in this the industry for quite some time, 40 years now in bodybuilding industry. And I just had a had a an event, a seminar training event with Robbie Robinson. And I got to tell you something. Um, I never thought that I would learn so much new stuff. And I'm not being I'm not kidding whatsoever. I, I learned some stuff today that was mind blowing. And in this uh, event that that we presented, we also had some other people there. A gentleman named Emmerich. And I, you know, I've ever since I've uh, met you, Emmerich, I've always thought that increasingly, I think you're a genius, to oh, be honest, to be honest. With you. And when you talk, talk in closer to the mic. Thank you. Okay. And, and I mean that. And, and, you know, one of the things I'm really big on is about um, you know, true knowledge is through experience and right in front of me. And in this room, there's a ton of it. And I know, Robbie, you've got a, an amazing story. I learned so much about you today. You know, you just don't know about people sometimes. And then you're, you're I told somebody today, I said, Robbie is like a, this flower that's, that, you know, you get to know him, he just starts opening up and opening up and opening up. And it's, it's amazing, Robbie. Yeah, I'm just... And, and the, everything I do, I just try to focus on it, man. I don't really try to let anything get me down, whatever has happened, you know, back in the past in my life. You know, I don't have no connection with it. Yeah. And, you know? and I'll tell you what, that that is really evolved. I yeah, mean, that's what you're supposed to do. It's yeah, human being. that is very evolved. Your your mindset and, and your attitude for me, it's just I mean, it's actually refreshing. Yeah, you you have to whatever you want, you have to go after it. Yeah. I mean, it's life ain't making no promises. Yeah. You know, he didn't say, oh, Robbie, life is going to be great. You're going to do make a million dollars. <laughs> it's not how it works. So yeah. I took my be- bits and pieces and I'm in a very happy place. I, and, and look, it's obvious. It's, it's, it just oozes off of you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's what that's the whole that, that was my whole thing. I wanted to when people hear me talk or see what I'm doing or see myself that they're just like in total awe of it. Yeah. It's not that I'm trying to do that, but it's just there. Yeah, and you're talking 75 years. Amazing. Yeah, cultured it. I mean, yeah, cultivated it. I mean, nurtured it. And you know, the thing fertilized is, it. Uh, I have a, a saying sometimes. It's called repetition is the mother of skill. Yeah, and that is exactly the embodiment of yeah. you. When I read that in the in the in the in your gym, I thought like, wow, that's exactly what I'm thinking. That, yeah, that yeah. that's you. Yeah. You know, amazing. Uh, I tell us a little bit about your uh, story. On a, honestly, I mean, I'm, I'm not that easily impressed you know when you're around for so long yeah. you're not easily impressed i was mesmerized with the way you went about your when you got into your training it was just it was so it was mesmerizing it was it was uh, rhythmic. it was precise yeah it's, it's i'm an artist <laughs> you're a man that's exactly how i see it crazy the the barbells and dumbbells and paintbrush or, or my paintbrushes oh. I use that in a sense of just creating my physique. I know what I want my physique to look like. So Man. all I have to do is focus on using the right pieces of equipment and get it done. Yeah. So awesome. I'm very healthy. Yeah. You know, you're young, you know, at my age, 75. And it's incredible. Life I mean, is just starting to, I'm, I'm wondering what's going to happen. Wow, Robert, what's going to happen when you turn 80? Wait, listen, <laughs> you're, you're, uh, you know, you're an inspiration because I'm thinking, hell, you know, I'm 66. Okay. I'm looking at you. Just a baby. I'm just yeah, just a baby, right? <laughs> I'm look I'm looking at you yeah. and I'm thinking, holy shit. Yeah. You know, probably when I we were spoken up when I told you that aerobic conditioning is unbelievable. Probably you said it. Probably we had a little doubt about it, but when you saw him, it's it, it's beyond what you were Yeah, well it, it actually was. Yeah. And you're right about your saying. I'm not disrespecting you, but yeah. I'm thinking he can't be in that great a shape. I mean, he looks great on, on camera, you know, on your photos. Mm-hmm. But I also know what people do the damn photos. <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> well, a friend of mine in Europe know how to do yeah. it. I wouldn't do I wouldn't go through all of that. Yeah. I'm it's crazy. I'm still with the diet, et cetera. But to stay in shape, like, he can just go watch a bodybuilding contest and change his mind. He can just take his clothes off and step in a stage. It's incredible. No diet, no nothing. He's consistently that is 
you know, it's, I don't think so anybody. Uh, it's not the, the norm. It's, it's not, not, it's not the normal. It's not the norm. It, it, it's not the norm because it just, it hasn't, everybody when I was growing up always say, well, you can't do this. You'll never look like that. In my culture, they're a little bit rougher. They use all the other N words. Uh -huh. right? yeah. You ain't going to come there. Do yeah, that, yeah, you know, yeah. and I say, yeah, I'll show you, not without saying a word. I just kept doing whatever I was doing. Bodybuilders get fat. I said, I just listened to all of that. Yeah. And I just kept thinking, you know, when you get old, the muscles turn to fat. I say, excuse me? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to, when it totally did defy all of that old stuff that yeah. people say that not possible. Anything is possible. Well, and that's the thing with, the, especially the human beings, they have to be shown. Yes. You know, once they, it's kind of like when you're playing, this is maybe a bad example, when you're play, playing a pinball machine mm -hmm. and you're, the highest score was, you're trying to beat the highest score. Oh, yeah. And you try, you try, and you can't do it. The minute you do it the first time, mm -hmm. all of a sudden you can do it more time. You times. can do it more time. What the hell happened? That's what it is. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a sense of practice and diligence and going after what you want. And yeah. Focusing on it. And the, mean, and the thing about that is, is you don't, you're trying to get that. You don't really 100% believe <laughs> that you can. Yeah. But then you do it. Now you're thinking, hey, I can do this two or three yeah. more times. It's, yeah. a, it's a difference in the mindset. Yeah, right? so it's a mindset. Just think, he's 75 years old. If he can do this, I'm six years older. Now I put in my mind. Because, you know, some guys our age, they will get in shape, okay? They start dieting a little and they say, okay, I look like two weeks out. Yeah. Robbie is the day before the show shaved all the time. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. But that's but see, but that's what I wanted to do. I, I I wanted to be healthy. I wanted to um make change. I wanted people to see. Yes, you can do anything you want. You just make up your mind. Yeah. All that talk about what you can't do, where you're planting the seed. I don't want to plant those seeds. Yeah. I'm. I'm I'm a very to myself person. Yeah. You no, know, I'm. A, people call me in my culture a loner. I don't like craziness, negative. Yeah. I, if you want to talk negative, I walk away. I, yeah, because all it does is rubs off on you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't want it to rub off on me, you know. So I just keep moving. You know, I yeah. love life. Life, I'm in a happy place. Things are going great. I can't really complain. I don't have no complaints. Some people complain about everything. I don't want to hear your complaints. Yeah, <laughs> well, many times, mm -hmm. you know, many many years, I saw a lot of interviews. You always mention dedication. Yeah, that's the dedication. It's dedication. Without the dedication. Yeah, you you might be able to what people say. If you listen to it, it can pull you to that side. But I just <laughs> yeah don't want to hear it. Yeah. Really, I've done that my whole life. You know, you can't do something. Yes, I can. Yeah. You know, you do whatever you want to do. Is I can do whatever I want to do. That's yeah. how I see it. I know people sometimes just like you. You talked about in the center. They talk themselves right into into talk, failure. Yeah. I mean, if you sit up and you keep talking about bad things, I mean, each time you say it, it's like six to second of happiness. No. Yeah. That's how I see it. Yeah. I don't want take my happiness away. I want to have my happiness. Yeah. So if I keep talking negative, 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 pretty soon you're a negative person. Yeah. They say that, that if you talk, talk, even if you tell yourself a lie, if you tell it a lie enough, it becomes truth. I've seen that for the last four years. <laughs> and, you know, you know uh, with Robbie's help, we can reach out and help so many children's adults with suffering with sickle cell. Yeah. We're not going to cure this. We, we're not cured. But this uh, wonderful uh, supplement that was uh, yeah. I found this special for Robbie Robinson. And Drop it down just a little bit. I think it's uh, there. You go. I think that's better right there. And uh, I will let. I, you want me to tell the story? What? You want me to tell the story how this beginning? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Cool. So, so what's happened? Uh, I met Robbie first time in nineteen. 83 in San Jose. I just was learning to speak English. So Frank Zing was guest posing and I went to see him and Robbie was probably supporting him. So I saw him on the street. So I told my main friend, you know what, I have to make a picture with Robbie Robinson because he's a legend. I, I need to. So I went, Mr. Robinson, Mr. Robinson, he turned around and said, can we have a picture? So we did a picture. So that's the first time I met Robbie. But Robbie, he met millions probably yeah. since 1983. He, he has a hard time to remember me from that far. Yeah. You know? So um, um, 
luckily for I calling for myself a privilege and I was so glad when I find out that I'm competing in SS Olympia and Robbie Robinson gonna be staged. I didn't care who I placed, I just wanna be able to say I was stepped on the same stage with the legend. Yeah. That was enough for me. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. So you know, when you go contest backstage, how you think you all respect each other, but we never had like a, a conversation regarding his health. I didn't even know her sickle cell. Yeah. So about two and a half years ago, I went on Facebook. I was seeing anything about Robbie because I like every time he has something, I'm listening to learn something. So he was had a post explaining his sickle cell that he is in a stage where basically the medical bills, they were like <laughs> crazy. I mean, crazy. He got to the point that either I reach out for my followers. When you're in a situation, you think you're going to die. Mm-hmm. You have to put behind uh, pride or anything because it's your life. It's depending. Sure. So it's life or death. So when I saw that, then... I was thinking about, I need to call Robbie. So I called Robbie. Yeah. And phone. I normally don't call people back. <laughs> but I don't know you. I don't. Yeah. Just, just yeah. a coincidence. Might be negative. Right? Just a coincidence. So I said, Robbie, this Emily Bill said, uh, you, I saw to explain what we met. I was in Mestres Olympia. But, you know, when backstage, you have, you know, uh, uh, so many uh, guys competing. You don't remember. I, right. You know, right now I'm looking for a contest. I did. I didn't know that. I, I did compete. Uh, uh, Mike Mazzarato oh, yeah. and uh, all these guys on stage because when you do you focus on just right. you know, stuff. So when I told Robbie, listen, Robbie, I may able to help you. I don't know how much because you the first ever with sickle cell anemia. I'm trying to, to see if I can help. So Robbie said, you know, I have nothing to lose. Yeah, you yeah for to, sure. Yeah, I have nothing to lose at that point. And I, I'm sure at that time, probably Robbie said, yeah. you know what, it's mm-hmm. not going to help, but you know what, let mm-hmm. me try. Yeah, but you, you have to spend $250,000 to keep yourself alive. You start to wonder about, worry about yourself. Yeah. And I did, went through that big word that for a moment, and then out of the blue, in my life, something always just happened like that. Seriously. Yeah. Just as it might be, we go something to something negative, I might go through it. But then when I come out of it, it's always, Emma, right there, take this. <laughs> and I looked at the, t- <laughs> I looked at it and I thought, <laughs> what is this? What the heck is this? Yeah. Is this a swim, a sham, scam? Yeah. And I took it. So and I, and I, I I went along for like about a week. He called me. Yeah. And then I called him. I said, Emmett, what's in that stock? <laughs> <laughs> is it legal? Yeah. No, yeah. Legal. Legal. I said, I'm what's kidding. in that? I'm, I'm yeah, kidding. You know? Yeah. And he just started describing it to me. And I do my own research. If somebody give me something, I start immediately doing my own research. So I started doing my research. And I said, hmm, that's pretty interesting. So I started asking about words that was on the product. I'd never heard of that stuff, you know, ecolocus or whatever it yeah, was. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's a, it was a main thing that my body needed, whatever it was. Interesting. Yeah. I, I have a question, uh, Emmerich. Okay, so I know you're a world, former world uh, champion, Eastern bodybuilding I'm champion. World champion was Eastern Bloc. Eastern Bloc cha- world uh, bodybuilder. Rural Romanian. Okay. They were like Eastern Bloc champions. Okay. For couple countries from the Eastern Bloc. Okay, so champion. Eastern Bloc champion. Poland, yeah. Bulgaria. So how did you become, how did you gain the knowledge to be able to develop a supplement that essentially has saved someone's life? Okay. Uh, because uh, I grew up in an environment with not that much food, you know, so uh, I always was asking older boxers or soccer players from Romania what they did, you know, and they all told me raw eggs, you know, raw eggs. So uh, I learned that eggs are the gift of the yeast universe because mm-hmm. all life begins creates from the eggs. Uh, so then, uh, not that much about nutrition. You know, I realized that uh, when I eat more eggs, I have more nitrogen retention. Yeah, and I feel better. So basically, all my life, eggs was daily in my yeah. diet. And then uh, when I came to United States, I started to learn English. I started to understand and I. I heard about uh, Vigiranda. He was promoting. Yeah, thirty-six eggs daily. I did that diet. 
Yeah. And because the uh, egg yolk are hormone precursors for men and women. Yeah. So then uh, when I came to the United States, my son was only one month old. So I was in a situation I know nobody. Mm-hmm. You know? So I had somebody from Romania sponsor me from Philadelphia. Philadelphia, Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. But he told me, he sent me after the super said, when you're at New York, you tell to the uh, immigration officer, wherever they are they're sending to the relatives or friends, tell them that don't send to me because I have no money. I have no car. I live in a little poor. I am able to support you. So I told them there, and they said, okay, uh, because I'm, uh, my nationality is Hungarian, but I was born in Romania. Mm-hmm. So they said it's a Hungarian nursing home in Akron, Ohio. And they're going to send me there. And they have all these uh, old Hungarians. They emigrated during the uh, revolution in uh, 1956. They, I'm going to serve food, clean the kitchen, stuff like that, because I didn't speak English. So that's how it started. So there was an old uh, man there who uh, told me that you need to go to California if you want to continue bodybuilding. <laughs> so, yeah. so what I did, I, me coming from Europe, to me, Fiat car was the best in the world. Right. So I bought, <laughs> I bought a Fiat for a couple hundred dollars. So I drove, I came to Santa Monica. You, so you I, drove by yourself? You know, two, two other guys. We were mm-hmm. driving. We got here so quick, we never stopped. <laughs> he, he, he drive a couple of hours, I drove the other guy. Yeah. So I went to the original mainstream mm-hmm. gym. I walked in. Mm-hmm. There was a Bertie Fox there. Greg DeFerio, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, a other Romanian guy was living in Venice, was working out there. He was a bell boy at the, the hotel, and he said, Eric, let me introduce you to uh, a guy. His name is Ali Mala. Ali Mala, yeah. Ali Mala. So Ali Mala came. He said, listen, don't stay here. Get as far as you can, because you get stuck here in this environment. You make no money. <laughs> Damn, they're going to have all this. You need to take steps. Yeah, yeah. money. And Ali told me, he said, listen, I barely able to afford to have a bicycle. <laughs> I can't buy. No car. kidding. He said, you get out of here. And I tell you what, you are in the United States. Focus on that. Someday you have your own business. You work for yourself because this country gives you opportunity you have to go for. It. You know? So then I ended up in the Bay Area, then I worked to machinists, then uh, 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 one of the Romanian uh, employees there came with the Flex magazine when Chris Dickerson won Mr. Mm-hmm. Mr. Mm-hmm. Olivia, and one in the back was a page, Eastern Bloc uh, News. So I won the Eastern Bloc uh, uh, Championship, and so the Hungarians, they have more freedom to send reports to Flex not from Romania, it was censored, you know, the capitalist country. <laughs> Amazing. So because I won the first place, they had to put my name there. Yeah. yeah. So it was, they were talking about the Hungarian guy, the Polish guy, and nothing on me because, you know, I just went first. So this guy comes and said, oh my God, you need to go back to the gym. You know? So he took me to Dennis Nelson Health Spa. I know you ever met Dennis Nelson. He, mm-hmm. he lost a show to uh, mm-hmm. Steve Reeves and he quit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he fell and they was cheated. So this Romanian guy takes me to the gym, mm-hmm. you know, and I start working out. And, you know, you, once you start working out, you start to put the size back faster than somebody just from the beginning. Right. Because you know how to train. Yeah. So these guys, they came, how you do this? I didn't, I couldn't explain. I said, so I went to the press down. He, <laughs> he, he said, no, no, no. He said, he said, watch me. I was showing the crap <laughs> from the way Robbie demonstrated today. I yeah. did that. Yeah. So walking out, the manager stops my, stops my Romanian friend. He was speaking English. He said, I want to hire your friend. He said to me, I said, I don't speak English. He said, that's why. I said, why? Because all the instructors, they give you the workout. On- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and meets you down. He said, he, he corrects them. He ex- You'll actually he train them. them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I said, how much did you pay? He said, $6. This was a dollar more than being a machine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they the job immediately. Yeah. You know? So that's how. I end up there and I said, you know what? It's nutrition, mm-hmm. you know, protein. So I started, I started realizing a lot of people that had no knowledge. Uh, so they were back then, was uh, a German company. They were making 
multi multi power. Yeah, multi power. Protein brand. And eventually, I think Joey they bought other company. Mm-hmm. So it was a distributor in uh, New York, and they had Joe Mecca endorsing the product. Then after that, some of Mike Christensen getting involved. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it's like a sports person. Yeah. Because back then, there were no contracts to be yeah. there. Mm-hmm. So then I started to get buy the protein, like I'm buying it from Dennis Nelson Club, you know, and I had it in my trunk and I took people out to the parking lot <laughs> and started the powder. So then mm-hmm. I started learning nutrition. I get more and more and more and more, yeah. more into it. So then uh, 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 I started importing that Trevista. You remember Trevista yeah. from Bulgaria? Yeah. So uh, uh, I was back in a trip to. Uh, Switzerland, Germany, Austria, Hungary, I was looking for a remedy for obesity. Mm. And somebody told me about this product extracted from chicken embryo. I didn't know anything about it. So <laughs> in a, I won't make it shorter. I learned so much from the inventor because atom physics and has many inventions. So that was his own concept on the, all the equipment, the extraction, it was a job by him and other professor. And like I mentioned, um, when Robbie was talking about earlier, and about GH, you know, mm-hmm. the, the genital. GH3, was it? You know, from, uh, no, yeah, GH3 and uh, what was the name of it? was, uh, anyway, so, and Ashley, who invented that, this professor with his twin brother, they were students of her. And they were fascinated with chicken embryo. And was, yeah. a, was a former uh, French scientist who many, many years ago, he discovered that the growth factors from the chicken embryo, they are identical with the human growth factors. Those are the repair tools. You know, the progress, you know, but also this, you now we're talking about growth factors don't confuse with growth hormones. Right. They act as a hormone, but they're not hormones. Yeah. So when I learned all these all these years, I started to learn about messaging RNAs, you know, and I was uh, learning about cell communication, what's the foundation of bone marrow, etc. So when I find out about the uh, Robbie situation, I said, "Oh, sickle cell, red blood cell sticking together, no oxygen carry, etc." And Robbie's over sixty, and I realized that when we get older, we lose bone marrow up to 40%. So suddenly, because Robbie was able to handle it when he was younger, he was able to handle it, was okay managing it. Suddenly he's doing the same thing that doesn't work because it was less bone marrow, so less red blood cell, no more cells, mm-hmm. but was still making the sickle. So suddenly, no more oxygen. So yeah, out of balance. balance. So when I called Robbie, I know this stuff, but I never had anybody like him. So when I called him, in my head, I said, but I said, please, I hope Robbie accepting this to try it out because I will never find out it was not. Yeah. No. So thanks God, he did. And today we're here two and a half years later. He's like a teenager. He can go to the gym, work nonstop. You have to, you have to remind him, hey, you worked out so many. Yeah. He, he feels like a, a young man and skin. Did you see the skin? Yeah, I know so. so uh, we want to emphasize that he's not cured. However, as long as he stays in this supplement, he will live 120, whatever year, genetically he will live, he will live full time. Yeah. Now, if he's cured or not, we don't know. We could find out if you stop using it, but why to take a chance to go back? Yeah. You know, if you. I wouldn't. I, <laughs> I wouldn't go back. Now, I know the pain they're going to because yeah. he explained it. If I would have that, you would tell me, please stop this for a moment. I said, I have no, you know, I want to get again back. Yeah. I have a question for you. I, I'm, I'm going to go back to the bone marrow. Tell the audience exactly what bone marrow is responsible for. Okay. I consider myself, maybe other opinion from experts, my theory, bone marrow is like a foundation for you in this system. From the bone marrow, what's happening? T cells, B cells, with your white blood cell. You know? uh-huh. So you have less bone marrow. Automatically, your immune system is weak because it's not able to produce enough white blood cells to support these T cells, T cells, ankyl cells, 
because it's, it's not enough material to produce that. Okay, so how does that, the bone marrow then, because you're, you're saying that when you have sickle cell anemia, your body doesn't produce enough oxygen because it doesn't the produce... The blood cells that are important, they carry the oxygen. Okay. But the sickle is still... Robin can explain better the sickle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's because it has a sickle, it's not round, you know? Yeah, but what does that have to do, like what, what does have the bone marrow decreasing have to do with the red blood cells, you're not, but your body not well, producing enough red blood cells. It has a, a genetic inherited problem, that's why they call sickle cell. Uh -huh. So he was born with that, you know. Uh -huh. So in a situation where he was younger and exercising, he was able to keep bone density higher than so if Amazing, would, yeah. If he wouldn't work out, he would be, I tell you, he yeah. would be dead. Major problem, he yeah. He would be dead maybe 20 years ago. People mm -hmm. don't quite understand it, but this is, yeah. Yeah. can be a very severe, treacherous yeah. thing. Yeah. If you don't so, pay attention to it, so we, take you out. We continuously uh, talking on the phone because Robbie now say, you know, I need to understand this. Yeah. He has questions because we want to reach out to help as many. As, as, yeah. as, as, as a matter of fact, I'm telling here, all Robbie Robinson's era, bodybuilders retired over 60. Please contact Robbie. Doesn't matter what you have, maybe we'll be able to help you. Yeah. Yeah. And don't be feeling bad. It doesn't matter what you have. Yeah. Just call Robbie, and then if we can help, we help. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, uh, so I'm explaining exactly what's in here. Okay. So it's embryo in development in the egg. So everyone knows the egg. If not feel like doesn't develop embryo. So when this embryo get to a different stage of age, could be one day, three days, four days, nine. We don't know. that not disclose the pattern. It's some uh, the process. What they do is disclose, but how many days exactly? Mm -hmm. Because that's very important. Because once the embryo has a vascular system developed, you don't have something called thymus in beta four. And I will get back to the time you see better for any vault. Okay. So this is removed, extracted. It's a special technology. Then all these wonderful, beautiful growth factors are is preserved nicely and ready to take, go into the bloodstream unit injection because it goes via anything we did orally. I think in our previous podcast I explained anything enters to the bloodstream. Our body breaks down with enzymes. As to when you eat the protein, it's not the protein goes to cells, it's the amino acid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now that amino acid to get to in the bloodstream goes to all this enzyme process and gets to the stage called pinocytosis. So that's also ready for cell feeding. Cell feeding. So yeah, this when go when you, you go in the digestive cell as the acid environment and uh, pepsin enzyme creates some protein. So you take orally uh, amino acid mm -hmm. or protein, the enzyme recognizes its amino acid because amino acid are protein. Mm -hmm. So based on, so when you take one gram branching amino acid, whatever, you don't know how much it gets to the bloodstream because you don't know how much it gets break down. Yeah. Yeah? So when you get this sickle life, these growth factors, they got, go intact to the digestive system, it goes to the system. Now, uh, before you move on with that, how does it stay intact? Because I think that's an important, you know, a lot of people, I mean, I think it's kind of uh, people, most people know that when you take a supplement, that there's a certain amount of, the 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 certain amount that breaks down. Can't say break that down. word. Yeah. Degrad degradation, no, de no. Deg I don't know what it is. No, but a certain amount of it gets, it gets broken down. Yes. That's the point. During, during embryo process, a lot of things happen. The embryo develops, it needs protection yeah. for outside invaders. You know? So uh, it gets like a gel around, it's called a sac that starts to develop protease inhibitors, can help peptides because you know, these are protecting the embryo from virus or bacteria. Yeah. Okay. So also uh, has uh, a um, tripepsin inhibitor, so that the, the pepsin enzyme. So they using all together. So when you take this orally, the enzyme leaves them alone because it's blocked. 
So it doesn't, it, doesn't it, see through Yeah, so like a coating around it, it so it doesn't break it. Doesn't it. Recognize. So it leaves them alone. Leaves and them. it goes right through the gut, bypasses it. Goes to the small uh, intestine. Spine, goes to the villi, and from the villi goes to the blostrum. Yeah. And it happens very quick. I mean, you you take this, it should be in your blostrum in about 10 minutes. No kidding. Or even faster. Do you have to take it on a full stomach or empty stomach? Which it's is better? Empty stomach. Yeah. It would not uh, matter, but you want empty stomach. Yeah. So, uh, because it blends with the food, it, the absorption will be the same amount, but slower. Yeah. So, so then once it gets into the bloodstream, maybe you explained it, but explain it to me again how that improves. Okay, so what you need to have done when you have sickle cell is you need to force your body to produce more red blood cells. Exactly. And less uh, sickle cell shape. And, and so uh, explain to me the process again. Once that happens, how is that actually hap uh, making Robbie's body start producing more red blood cells? I, I cannot explain how. Because it's still doing research, mm -hmm. but one thing we know, it works. I have sure. my own theory on the base of research they showing on growth factors, cell communication. Because also when you have sickle cell, also have some problem with the cell communication. Mm -hmm. like messaging RNAs, uh, sending message to the DNA, and maybe this protein for repair of peptide. We, we call it protein peptides because our body says it's our peptide. Yeah. So if his sickle cell anemia has a defect somewhere in one of the messaging RNAs responsible to don't have sickle cells. So uh, if you're able to extract this particular messaging RNA from a healthy person's blood and injecting to some of the sickle cell, that could knock out the sickle cell anemia the rest of his life. We don't know that. Hmm. So we don't want to touch that. But it is. You know, research going on. Yeah. And that's one of the things I did on my own. Yeah. Okay. So from, I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not a PhD. I'm not here to uh, uh, claim that Rob is cured. We don't know he's cured. And we're never going to find out because we don't want to find out to take him off of this. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we have cell communication. These growth factors, they are involved also in the bone marrow. Regeneration production and other uh, cell level healing repairs everywhere in the body. So, uh, just for example, this is this is the messaging RNA, and let's do this. This is our DNA. Okay, so messaging RNA DNA. The messaging RNA goes to DNA. I have probably a sickle cell. I need uh, uh, help. However, that messaging RNA is not there. So he cannot ask DNA to figure out mm -hmm. what's going on. Huh? So that's why they don't have that. So as I know from a biomedical scientist, supposedly, I have no proof, but that Gallus Gallus, which is the chicken, you know, they more and more very soon they show that they have the perfect same messaging RNA growth factors and cell communication as humans or mammals. Yeah. So that I that not it this whole this is uh, to prove it it will cost millions and I'm not interested. Yeah. I just want to draw it to to uh, uh, help uh, as many people as we can. Yeah. So we reached out and uh, I know people have been calling the Robbie as a snake oil Robbie's on growth hormone, <laughs> Robbie's on insulin. Yes, what that's I can tell you, you know, Robbie doesn't take nothing. You can hear it from him. I, I just, I really, I'm not a competitor anymore. So there's no yeah. sense of me engaging in that activity. Yeah. Uh, people that want to do it and come to me and they talk about it, you know, I, that's your right. I just, yeah. I don't want to indulge in it. Well, and the thing about it is this, you know, even though, like you were saying, you can't really, uh, you know, absolutely prove it. But you kind of can because there's somebody here that has the that's proven that you have sickle cell. Yeah, you have it. Yeah, and by taking that product, you are you're not cured, but you are yeah. able to live. Yeah. That, there's something to be said for that. Yeah, it, it, I mean, without that product, I, I wouldn't be here with you, Leo. I wouldn't be able to be here. Yeah, I'd probably be in the VA land there, or uh, would I be in my arm waiting to die? Yeah, they 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 didn't know how to treat 
the psychotel. I went to there to them, talked to them about it, and they was talking about putting me on medication, and I don't want to go that route. Yeah. yeah. It just doesn't work with me. So so there's something to be said for that. Yeah, when when Emma gave me this product and I started taking it and I all of a sudden wasn't on my oxygen machine, it's right by my bed, I thought, hmm, I had went back a, almost three to four days. I was like, wow, you haven't been on the oxygen machine. Yeah. Because question mark, because I know what, I'm, what my schedule is. I go train, come on, get on the oxygen machine. I go to bed, I sleep with the, on the oxygen machine all night long. Okay? Yeah. Not no... Half of the night is all night long. I don't do that anymore. Yeah. Now the machine is just sitting there. Some other veterans should have it. Really. Yeah. I periodically go back to it every now and then, but I don't need it anymore. Yeah. Oh, uh, sick of the life. Really, you know, I was humiliated. People was laughing at me, calling me a fraud. Yeah. Saying that, oh, I was lying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I felt bad, really, Leo. I felt bad about it, and I thought, like, you know, people can be so nasty. Oh yeah, they can absolutely. Be so cruel. Yeah. If you don't know what has happened, and, you know why? Not, why not say something good? Hey, Robbie. Hey, I hope everything is okay. I hope it work out. Yeah. I mean, people coming and goes. Jim looking at me like I was committing a crime. Yeah. And a friend of mine, back east, started a what a GoFundMe. I was humiliated by that GoFundMe. Um, when I say humiliated, people were laughing and talking. He's on the street. They were saying a lot of just not so nice yeah. things. And I realized how people are. I've always kind of felt that in a lot of people. It's sad. But yeah. That's people like to see you down. Well, you know, Robbie, here's the thing. When people are doing stuff like that, it's really it has more to do with them. Exactly. You know, they have to push somebody else down to make themselves feel superior. Totally agree. Or better. But, but that doesn't change the fact that it doesn't hurt. Yeah, because we can feel bad. Yeah, because we're human beings. Yeah, of course. But that's what's really going on. That's what's really going on. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's it's easy. You can you can say it like I'm doing and be objective about it. But we're still humans. It hurts. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the bottom line. Yeah, Yeah, this is also classified as an epigenetic adapts. So basically, miracle for myself. Sorry, the capsule does do it. The capsule, what's the capsule helps his own body to do the repair. we're supposed to. Yeah. So you don't take this, it's not a capsule. The capsule just adapts and supports yeah. his own. So it's re- for example, his kidney right now able to produce more natural way EPO, which is the yeah. oxygen. Yeah. So that's why he's able to run stairs with the back with the weight on like yeah. this this because now has more oxygen. Yeah. We are also the kidney producing EPO. You know, it's, amazing. Yeah, it is because I tell you something, and it doesn't. What it doesn't sound like, it doesn't sound like a band aid. It sounds like something that actually is working in it conjunction works. with your body. Yeah, you know what? I, what I found most amazing is and I watch. I'm a very observant of myself, right? I watch yeah. my skin, I watch my hair, I watch my nails. I was watching all these things, and I, I noticed a lot of the guys back from that time period hair just depreciated as they got older. Mm-hmm. I got a full head of hair. <laughs> <laughs> I have all my hair and it's still growing. Yeah. And that's the part that really grabbed me. And then my skin went through a major change because of all the oxygen. Yeah. And I thought, wow, that's pretty heavy. I could go in the gym and uh, three and a quarter front squat, 20 reps. Yeah. I haven't done 20 reps with three and a quarter. Yeah, that, that takes the wind right yeah. out of you right now. Yeah. I'm leg pressing of, well, over 1,500, almost 2,000 pounds at yeah. 75 years old. Yeah. And I don't have a my legs, my knees haven't blown out. And I'm like getting up and thinking, wow. Yeah. This is, you got some, better, you got stronger. Yeah, definitely. I thought, I thought it was just amazing to be able to lay down and go to sleep. Because when you have sickle cells, sometimes like three, four o'clock in the morning, you start feeling this little, almost like a needle. It's going into the heart. Mm. And that's a clear sign that your body, you're starting to have a little heart attack. Oh, God. And I thought, like, hey, you know, that's pretty heavy. I haven't had that feeling in a long, long time. So something in the mirror came clean. I said, Emmett, what's in this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> and he started talking about breaking it down to me. And I started paying attention to what was happening. And I thought, wow, it's amazing. You can't put that out to people that are have dementia. Uh, before, before I got, let me go back a little bit. When I, when I was going through all the sickle cell, I noticed the hands start to shake a little bit. 
And I'm thinking, Robinson, is that Parkinson's? Mm-hmm. Are you having some kind of psychological? I was forgetting a lot. Mm-hmm. I was getting things. I would walk out the door with my bag, the, the, the gym bag, and forget the bag I got my money in. Mm-hmm. I would walk back in, put the bag down, and have my money in. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was starting to get forgetful. That's what happens when you do get older. Yeah. I'm in my 70s. Yeah. I started taking that product out. Oh, that's sad. It's crazy. Yeah, I just wanted to, again, man. You know, I would put my, I would bet, I would, you know, I would put, I would stand up for that product because if, if it wasn't for this product, sick of my life, I wouldn't be here. Sorry. I know I wouldn't. So I just want one more time for the 100,000 who watch this. It's not a cure, but also it's a very strong, I would say, on the base of the, some studies, said it's the strongest free radical scavenger. It's 11 times stronger. Best product acid. on the market, I would say that. Let, let me, Ascorbic acid, yeah. six times that glutathione. Yeah. So basically, when you talk about free radical scavenging, scavenge, oh, so I'm just trying to put on my own theory and what I see. Yeah. This doesn't happen in one level, it's multiple level involved. First of all, Scavenging all the free radicals, what's happening? You have less free radicals, that's because also more oxygen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now support the kidney make more yeah. meal, more oxygen. Yeah. Increasing the bone marrow, more oxygen. Energy. Yeah. So that it's a combination of yeah. not just one. Big toe connected to the little toe. And so that that shows you that the body does it, but you need it. Like you can't drive your car without fuel. So this would be like, almost like fuel for the cells. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Uh, why wouldn't somebody that's healthy want to take that? Because that sounds like something I'd want to take. Somebody oh, have what? Oh. Somebody that's healthy. Why wouldn't they want to take that? No, they should be for everybody. Yeah, because that's what it sounds like. I want more oxygen. Yeah, because that's the, what it is. The, the environment, we expose the small radiation daily. Just me talking with the camera, I have a little radiation. Right. Stuff, et so we expose to environment. We have so much free radicals in our body mm-hmm. because when you have less free radicals, more oxygen. Guess what's the f- number one enemy of cancer? Oxygen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oxygen. Interesting, huh? So if this is all. So probably in four or five years we're gonna find more out. But right now, on my own, not PhD. Yeah. Scientists just reading and learning everything about growth factor, cell communication. What's how important you are as the bone marrow the liver, the kidney, etc. So on the base of free radical, more oxygen. Helps you EPO production to your kidney. Yeah. You're not putting in EPO. It helps you more oxygen. More bone marrow, more red blood cells, yeah. more yeah. healthy red blood cells. Yeah. You know? So we I would say is right now on the this free base, which is very easy any kind of look it up. What's happened when you have less free radicals? What's happened when your kidney function normal? How to produce EPO during a workout? Mm-hmm. And how oxygen, red blood cell are from the bone marrow. So just three together, and probably it's more behind, but it's gonna take years and years. Yeah, to, to catch really, up. Really. Now I have some theories, but I don't want to talk about it because this is not a drug. And I'm so pleased that Robbie accepted and I see what's happening. And we can help children, adults, help, not cure. Yeah. So they can, at least they find a cure. To find a cure, let's have a normal life. I, I agree, man. You know, I mean, you're crazy if you don't try it. Yeah. You're good. Hey. And then, you're out of your mind if you don't this, try it. This could be for anybody. Yeah. You know? you know, I mean, when you take a drug, you have all kinds of side effects. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah that's what it is. I mean, you know, that's what they want to put me at the VA. Uh, and they're still sending me letters, come back and do this. I, I don't want to be bothered with this that. I don't also, take no medication. This yeah. has, um, you know, what's amniotic fluid? fluid. Yes. Yeah. So in a, in a, in humans, you have the placenta. Yeah. Now in the chicken, it's not a placenta, but the age sex has similar replaced placenta. So that has in also. Mm. You know. So that has in also. So that's uh, uh, another benefit because uh, that uh, also that part of the because that comes with a graft, the egg you graft over. So it's all together. So also has natural occurring holostatin. Mm. So holostatin down regulates myocytin, does knocks out. So that other reason that his age is putting back muscle and for all people not exercising, 
it would help to slow down muscle waste. That's a big problem. That's because just the follistatin. Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody's on follistatin. They want to knock out the follistatin. You don't, I mean, the, the myostatin, you don't want to knock out the myostatin because that's not good. Yeah. You know, because when they. But you want to lower it, right? The, the guys that are putting on the most muscle, don't they have a lower. Yeah, genetic. Myostatin? Okay, so uh, Victor Kante, when he tested uh, 26 pro bodybuilders, I was one of them. It's only two guys that had lower myostatin naturally. Richie Gaspari and Flex Wheeler, but mm. they didn't know. So yeah. All the rest, Ronnie Coleman, all of them, that normal uh, myostatin level, like yeah. they was So you see, there's some genetically gifted, mm. you know, genetically gifted. Yeah. You know, you see some guy never worked but has no muscles. Yeah. Obviously, that's the reason. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you know, I, uh, on another note, because I think you made a good point for the sickle cell and you have the person that is on it. I mean, you, it doesn't get better than that as far as, uh, you Can't know, get any better than I'm that. sold. Yeah. But, but I also, on a side note, I take one of your products, uh, your protein product, and I'm going to tell you what I, uh, what, what I felt, Robbie. And again, people out there have to know that a bodybuilder is his own lab. Yeah. He laboratory. experiments with his body as a laboratory, and the, the bodybuilders that are students of the game pay attention to what the hell they're doing. Definitely. Because they have to. They have want to, to know how their body – because you know as well as I do, when you're in tune with your body, you know when something's not right. Exactly. You know. Yeah. And, and a lot of this stuff, most people have no clue. They have no clue. No clue. But here's my point that I was making. I started taking that protein that you gave me because that's the one you were telling me. Basically, I take it twice a day, and it's the equivalent – of uh, 12, I think it's uh, 12 eggs Eight. each time, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 12 egg oats. Mm -hmm. Robbie, you know, because again, I, I have um, a reference because I did take steroids. Mm -hmm. So I, I remember how that pump felt. Yeah. You know, taking yeah, the juice. Pump. Yeah. Pump. Oh, yeah. Well, I started taking that damn protein that uh, Emmerich has. Mm -hmm. And he, when he told me about the eggs, and I'm not kidding, I thought it was bullshit. I thought this can't be happening. I got a pump because I'm not taking any drugs. I got a pump. Like I was on drugs. In fact, I even looked in the mirror. I thought, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> no, really. I was amazed. And I thought, maybe it's just a fluke, but it's not. It's not a fluke. Since I've been taking that protein, I get pumped like I did when I was taking juice. Yeah. It's high, crazy. High nitrogen. That's nitrogen, nitrogen is what? retention. Ni nitrogen retention. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Part. Unbelievable. So that, that's why the yolk. Is the best part of the eight. Yeah, and that's not an exaggeration. I'm telling you, it's not. Yeah, it's not an exaggeration. I think when people see things like the sickle of life and the, the protein powder that Emmerich has put together, they think it's like a flu or that can't be happening. Yeah. It got to be some kind of steroid. And right. Stuff because a lot of the problems out there back in the 80s was yeah. steroid induced. Yeah. The company went down the hill because of that. Yeah. But it's, to me, it don't make sense. Why would you do that? Yeah. I mean, kids are taking it. I mean, all the people. Yeah. And, and here's right. and here's the thing about it you know robbie you know this emmerich you know this on the market most of the products in my opinion most supplements on the market don't live up to their hype not at all they don't no nope. i get stuff i put i'm getting this energy drink in a can i was expecting like <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> you're talking forty dollars yeah for that much of it's not going to last no more than a couple of weeks. Yeah, oh, it's it's brutal. You got the can, but inside of the can is nothing what that company is really producing. Yeah. It really made me sad because I think, wow, they just just abusing the whole oh, system. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So I don't really use, I only use the stuff that Emmerich puts out. I don't want to have anything to do with anything else. When I use this product, my pumps, I've actually worked out. I was with uh, Tim Taylor. Tim Taylor was a guy that wanted to rebuild his physique. And uh, he's a, he's an entrepreneur. He lives in Florida. I mean, he built real estate stuff pretty much all over the United States. And he came to me. He said, "I want to build my body." He came to me for sixteen weeks. I abused the man. <laughs> he asked for it, <laughs> but along with the sickle of life and the hard work and the training and the eating, he ended up on the cover of Men's Fitness. I don't know if no. everybody checked. Yes, that's Tim no Taylor. Kidding. I kicked his booty, but Tim dealt with the pain. He, did, he wasn't used to it. So he was taking that too? Yeah. And he doesn't have sickle cell. 
doesn't have it. They train twice a day. Yeah, we trained twice a day. Wow. We was kicking it, Robbie, though, Leo. Robbie. I know you love to train. I know. We were kicking it. Robbie, I mean, we would get up in the morning, uh, you know, on the off day, go and walk the treadmill for 20 minutes, come back home and eat, rest pretty much the rest of that day. We didn't want to do anything but train and get in shape. He got in shape in the most amazing shape. I think so. I don't know if you've seen the picture, but it was on my uh, Instagram page. And the guy looked amazing. I thought about it. It's amazing. And it. Through taking his, the sickle life, he had more oxygen. Yeah. The uh, pumps last longer. Yeah. You see, if you, and, and that, that's one of the things I noticed too. I was training, I was going back into the next body, then that same body part four days later, the pump is still there. Yeah. Hmm. That's pretty freaking interesting. Yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to reiterate again when somebody like a Robbie Robinson is telling you that, somebody like you who's been around long enough in the gym and we know the differences, that's real. Yeah, that's real. Of course, it was weird for me because I don't really. You can't give Robert no products to take. I'm not going to take. Right. I put it over there for somebody else. Yeah. Or give it to somebody else. Yeah. I don't use it. When Emma gave me this product, there's something that showed me. <clears throat> you, know, you got to try this. Well, you I don't know I, what's going to happen. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing right now. I want to take that now. You, okay. I take it. I, I want to. You take tell some, me. I, you I, tell I do. See, see the the HD fancy tape uh-huh. doesn't has the amniotic fluid stem. I want that. Yeah. Now, <laughs> you, 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 you know about carbon dioxide and oxygen. Right. right? Yeah. Right. So this helps oxygen saturation. <laughs> and that this one helps wash out carbon dioxide. Yeah. So yeah. That's work, what it is. Do you have a bigger bottle than that? I want a big bottle. <laughs> <laughs> See, when you exercise. We have to increase the size. Yes. <laughs> no. So when you exercise, you run out of oxygen. Yeah. More carbon dioxide. When you rest, yeah, you, know, you start to wash out carbon dioxide. So when you take this, you carbon dioxide wash out. It's faster. Wow. Yeah. So, I, I noticed that. So one minute, your carbon dioxide as low as the other guy waited four minutes. No so kidding. You, you have three minutes advantage. Well, and you know something? You're only as good as your recovery, and that plays yeah, into your recovery. That's what it is. It, I noticed the recovery. My recovery. Yeah. I would go into the next workout, whatever body part. Yeah. Was still pumped. I'm thinking that's pretty freaking interesting. Yeah. And I kept getting that feeling, and I think in a sense my muscles were growing. Yeah. That's what I the turn you know turn well, ages to me. R- Robbie, I have to tell you, based on what I saw today with your damn shirt off, I would say that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know. I know. But if people don't believe it. People think that you go in there and you just bang the steel word. That's no. Not, that's not the truth. No. It's, it, it, it's it's sick of life. Okay, save my life. And I will tell you, I will use it until like in my time. Well, I'm, I will still be using it when I, I like I'm on my way out of here. I like it. Sickle life saved my life. It's a yeah, sickle yeah, it's, it's cool. It did. Yeah. Sickle life saved my life. Seriously. Yeah. It should be the soup. Yeah, the little tagline yeah. on it. I'm sold. I, I, seriously, yeah. I'm going to start taking it. You try it and I you am. tell me. Okay? I am. I'm going to. I'm going to stay in touch with you. I got your number. No, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> More than one way. Yeah. 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 Just, just imagine this for Miss Marshall's boxes. Yeah. One for endurance, yeah, yeah or all out. It. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I felt I felt really bad when Emory said you can't talk about it and you can't say too much about it. I'm yeah, like, no kidding. What? Yeah, it don't make sense to me. Something that really helped the person. Yeah. Imagine if you're giving babies that that have sickle cell. Yeah, they was they wouldn't be crying like that. Exactly, they'd yeah. be a lot more robust and bubbly, but they don't want to be bothered. It's not a drug. Yeah, doesn't cure, doesn't prevent. No. It just regulates. <laughs> you live your life. And the journey adapts your body. Yeah. You know? And it just, just on those three, free radicals come in here. Yeah. Very strong free radicals come in here. Supports and helps you kidney produce more EPO. Supports bone marrow regeneration. Plus helps cognitive uh, wash, wash, wash out carbon except fencing. Mm-hmm. Just for the purpose, anybody does any sports. Yeah. Well, Forget about sickle cell. Yeah. Just in general. Well, let yeah. me tell you something. If you have half a brain, you got to take that. You have to take that. You have to. If you have a half a brain. If I was, if I was, as I said to you, I was went through a memory where I wasn't forgetting a lot. Yeah. Walk to the in the house, get my bag, walk back in the house and put the bag down. I was gonna go to the gym and walk out with the bag that I came in. <laughs> I know. It was really bad. I, I was no, really, I I was get really you. starting to doubt myself. Yeah. I was thinking, like, wow, Robert, you're getting old, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When Robert was, Robert was training uh, that team, he didn't have uh, paper and was telling, okay, one more, one more. He was training 
and team had to train as hard as him. Yeah. Just imagine, he's twenty years old, be twenty years old than uh, team, mm-hmm. uh, twenty years old than team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just imagine that guy that age. He said, "Oh my God, I can't keep up with a seventy-five years old." Yeah. yeah. I love that. That's what twice, it is. Twice a day. They I can't keep up. I love it. Yeah. Twice but, see, a day. but that's what I always thought: bodybuilding, weight training, and health walls that you. You go in there and you dominate yourself. Yeah, yeah. You get in the best shape, stay in that shape, yeah. and nurture yourself, eat the food, have a good time with it, enjoy it. Yeah. Being health is very important. Oh, man. You can yeah. have a million dollars if you're sick. Forget about the well, million Well, let dollars. me tell you something, Robbie. I can relate to you, and not in, in the not specifically your way, but when I had those three strokes, that yeah, what? Me down, when I had, I had three strokes and three Yeah, rings, I remember you telling me that. I, I tell you, that puts things into a perspective. You want to feel great again. When you go down like that, right. and it's like that. I never want to. I never want to be like that again. No. You know. So that's right. Take it. You're stupid if you don't take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, if, if I had my, if I knew someone that was on Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and has sickle cell, you know, I always suggest that when clients come to me online, they say, "Well, I have sickle cell, or I have sickle cell trader, I have thalassemia." I say, I send them my uh, online store number. I say, "Go ahead and order this product." Yeah. Some do it. Some don't. Hey, listen, you got to help yourself. Some people can't yeah. help themselves. I, I could totally agree with that. You know, you could put it in their mouth and they still wouldn't swallow. Yeah. It's easy. Without water and oxygen, it's no life. That's yeah. right. There's no it's, life. It's oxygen. Pretty simple. My yeah. pump my pumps from using this product is tremendous. Oh, I got to get I, I, I was get, like, oh, man. I'm going to follow you home tonight. I'm going to go get some for you. <laughs> hey, listen, let's, uh, well, before we wrap this up, uh, why don't you go ahead and tell us where we can get this product again? So we know for sure. Yeah, you do it. contact Robbie Robinson because this is, I made the product, but this is a Robbie Robinson's line. It's signature on, okay. it's information. Get in touch with Robbie on Facebook, Instagram, call him, or everyone. Don't be feeling embarrassed. And if sometimes people, he's a legend, they're all gonna take my phone call. Yeah. Robbie doesn't care who you are, he will help. Yeah, and I wanna say one thing again, Robbie. Um, uh, you look great on camera, mm-hmm. but you look amazingly great in person. I'm telling you, the camera, <laughs> I appreciate the that. camera, seriously, the camera doesn't do you justice because I had never met you until mm-hmm. yesterday when I picked you or when I met you at the, at the mm-hmm. Holiday Inn. Mm-hmm. And when I saw you today, um, it's hard to describe that. It really is. It's mind blowing. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. you. I, that's what I wanted to come here and do and give you. You know, what you're trying to get done. Oh, you promised that. Uh, huge. Yeah, that's you, right. You told me you were going to wow us. <laughs> yeah. You damn sure did. I can see yeah. when you have the training seminar when you took his shirt off, oh. turn that back. Oh, uh, yeah. People you see are going to come out. He has this, the hand drop. Yeah. You see the feather. Yeah. The yeah. On yeah. His back. Well, I can tell you that was actual, <laughs> that was real. I was, I, you know, the, the theme of this uh, the seminar event we did when I was promoting it, uh-huh. it was, uh, up close and personal with Robbie Robinson. <laughs> I was up close and personal. And I yeah, saw yeah, that. Yeah, so that's real. Anyway. Yeah. Thanks for having me here. Yeah. Leo. Thanks for coming to the show. I can't see that on. Uh, no. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't do it justice. <laughs> you know? Anyway, Robbie, I appreciate you coming on. Emory. Definitely. Uh, hopefully one day we can uh, do something like this again. Oh, yeah. Definitely. All right. I would All right. love to. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank for you. To the show. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye, Leo. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Serious Growth Podcast. For more episodes like the one you just listened to, subscribe to us on your mobile podcast app and leave us a review. If you'd like to reach out, you can find us online at SeriousGrowth.com. Until next time, train smart and train hard.